to teach the brother over here, man. You too. <coughs> I don't know. He might be a tear. Who knows, man? But even if he's a tear or not a tear, he ain't got the spirit to make it at this point, man. There's a possibility he could be a tear, because I did see the video. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, this guy's spirit ain't really, really. Yeah, he had a very effeminate. He had a very yeah. effeminate spirit, man. But Jake is uh, coming out that way, man. He doesn't reform himself, he's going to be a spirit. Yeah, man. He came and he came up, and every time we confounded him, he just skipped to another one. No, 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 stop there. Explain that. You can't do it. See? See? Uh, this is uh, what St. John's doing. Yeah. Uh, uh, John uh, 8 and 45. And because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Yeah. Which of you conceive of me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? See, because the Lord said he knows who are, who are his. Them wicked scribes and Pharisees, they're not... Um, and they're on the earth today, man. They're Al Sharpton. Oh, Farrakhan's definitely one of them. All right? Don't think... Yeah, uh, don't think these guys are heroes, man. They're doing all kinds of abominable shit and they're helping our enemies to more or less destroy our people, man. Farrakhan knows about this. You know, he said it a few years ago, and then they must have threatened him. He had to, he had to do it again, didn't it? Yeah, he had to restructure it, man. You know, so they're not heroes at all, man. They're liars. And the thing with Louis Farrakhan, Louis Farrakhan, he been lying to, you know, the, the so-called Negroes for how long? What, almost forty years now. Yeah, nineteen sixty-two. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So he's been spewing out that same garbage since back then, and he's old now. So. He's already caught up in his own way. So for him to speak those lies for that long, yeah. and then all of a sudden to jump out of that, jump outside of that, mm. to teach uh, all people that they're Israelites, he's not going to do that. Yeah. Plus he's plus he's getting a lot of money doing it too. Yep. So you think he's going to jump out of what he's doing just to teach the truth? Hell no. He's going to lose it all. Baby. Wicked, man. I wouldn't be able to live that way, but that's, that, these are just examples why the Lord had to do what he did to us, man. You know, this is correction, it's good. You yeah, the Lord beat us so bad that we don't even know who we are, man. The majority of us. He beat, he beat the Hebrew out of us. <laughs> you know, but when you got 12 years a slave, he goes, there's a misunderstanding. You're a Georgia friend of we nigga. <laughs> and he finally accepted it, man, innit? Hey, that's what happened, man. That's how wicked we were, man. The Lord made the Lord made the Edomites be out of you. He beat the Hebrew out of you. Yeah, he beat the Hebrew out of you, man. Yeah, he, the, he be, he be the out of you, man. <laughs> and I, I remember years ago, my master said, oh, I hated weapons from a, a young age. And I thought about it, and I was trying to be really correct, and I said, yeah, you're right, I am. You know? So the Lord knew me from the, the, the womb, like Jeremiah, man. All right? And that spirit, I'm not sharing it, man. I'm not sharing it. My God is my God. We're not sharing it either, man. All right? Right, right. Verse 47. Yeah. It says, He that is of Yahweh, hear of Yahweh's words. There you go. We heard the, like Pastor Ha said, when he first heard the word, the word and, and, and Yahweh, Hashem Yahshua, go into the truth, they have not stopped. They didn't take breaks. Uh, they didn't go to Jamaica on the holidays. All right? They didn't go skiing. All right? When there was one, a couple years ago, they came out, it was a full snowy storm, and they couldn't stay out. The next day they went out, man. Okay? They've not stopped doing it, man. Okay? Ye therefore hear them not, yep. because ye are not of Yahweh. There you go. So that's like, I saw that video two weeks ago, across the door, the Simeon Knight came here, and he explained it, and he goes, there's no white people on there. And as soon as the Simeon like, heard that, he started to stick up for them. He goes, all right, go now. He goes, we ain't got time to deal with people that are, are not interested in this, man. He was a simple-minded Simeon, like, man. And why are you over there in America, like I said? You're over there in America because so-called white man is destroying that island, man. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Haiti and um, on the other side, the Dominican Republic, with his economic policies, man. That's his wine, that's his democracy. It's bullshit, man. That's the only reason why that, that simple-minded nigga is in America, all right? He's trying to tell you that you're royalty, and then 
you don't care, man. Hey, this is some disease, the Stockholm Syndrome, man. You know, it has to, you, you can't, they get a um, Romans 16 and 17, because it seems like our people want to get entertained. That's what they want, bro. They yeah, don't they want, seem, it don't yeah, seem like yeah. it. They, that's what they want. They want yeah. to be entertained. Yeah, they like being entertained. Because um, when you put a video out, cursing Esau out, yeah, okay, or any form of drama, yeah. them views go up. But when you actually dive into the precepts concerning, um, yeah. you know, the world on terror and things of that nature, and you dig into the precepts, yeah. and how shy did, they ain't trying to watch that, man. But yeah. well, that's all right because that goes before the battle they deploy. further goes to validate the point that the word of the Lord was blocked from them. They only, they, they only, you know, they introduce themselves to drama. Yeah. That's all it is. But really, when you check it out, it's the Lord blocking them from this understanding. Yeah. So that they don't get it. Hey, the Lord said he'll choose their delusions, right? There you go. There you go, man. Like that cracker one. Remember last year? We had that guy and uh, all hell broke loose in Peckham and that. Hey, that video in three days. It's in, it's yeah. 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 That, yeah. That was it, man. I tell you, it was in uh, Peckham, and and I, I, I was actually uh, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. I shepherded that white guy away three times, man. I said, if you don't like what we're saying, just go. And he kept coming back. All oh, hell break loose. That video went viral, man. Because they want to be entertained. But the Lord, the Lord is giving us forewarning of why you're like that, man. Uh, Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, yep. mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. See, everybody said brethren, man. Right, right. And we were saying that last week to that uh, uh, possible tear that. Paul and went and the apostles went to see the Gentiles, man. And those Gentiles were our people. That's why he said brethren, man. See? For they that are such serve not our Lord <laughs> Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Yeah, they're not serving the uh, uh, Heavenly Father and their Son. See? But their own belly. Their own bellies, man. Like General Yohanna, man. Captain Crunch. General <laughs> Yohanna, man. <laughs> That fat nigga, man. And to do a video of an Israelite group at gun range shows that that demon is working, is where he is, he's working with the government. Because that is the worst image you can have. A black man with a gun at a gun range, practicing to shoot. Come on, man. Yeah, man. So he's clearly working. But there gonna, there's going to be some in ISUK and IUIC who are going to be a party elect. And the Lord's going to take them out at the last minute, man. And that guy is a demon, man. And for you to actually set out with this truth, that shows that our people are wicked. That shows you that the Lord is justified in what he did to us, man. When I watch those um, clips, and it shows us on the, um, in the, uh, what's it called, the slave ships, and they're crying and they're holding the baby and they're doing that. I laugh sometimes, man. Seeing you niggas in that slave ship, man. I, 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 I like to see that, man. Because we've learned our lesson. We've learned our lesson, man. So we're shit scared of Yahweh Shai. So we're obeying him so we don't get punished anymore, man. I couldn't say it, but you just said the Lord said that that was going to happen. Yeah, he said, told them that. He said it was going to happen. And in this country, we had a, a group of Jakes called the Covenant Keepers, man. In that book I've got, Negro Question Part 4, and they were telling you niggas, all right, that, oh, the Israelites in Spain got taken down, the Israelites in Constantinople got taken down. It's because we're not keeping the covenant. Did the majority of our people listen? No, they didn't, man. Okay? Madness, man. In fact, that guy's good. Uh, Romans 16 and 18. Yep. For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. There you go, man. <coughs> and Farrakhan is a good orator. <laughs> and look how happy King Yin 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 Yin
see the heating limit that I, I'm not attracted to, I'm just going to take them to bed just so they can have a traumatic experience, man. I'm telling you, man, these heathens, they need to be pulled over, all right? They need, they need structure, they need order, they need discipline, man. They don't have that at the moment, man. The Japanese are over there, and there's a craze over there where they have a, a, a robot woman. Mm. Yeah, man. You know, like a woman, you know, like the blood, though. But it's more synthetic. Yeah, yeah right. You know, and, and it does sexual things and all that. These heathens, they, that's why you should be embarrassed that you went into slavery under these people, man. Under these people, man. You should be embarrassed, man. You should be highly offended, man. But you're not because you're niggas, man. That's what's on that. Um, sorry. Yeah, what's the uh, Proverbs 1 and 7. Because ultimately it comes down to what the Heavenly Father says. Whether you obey Him or you don't obey Him. Simple as that, man. It's like when you go to work. You know when you first get a job? You, you know, you go there, you get there on time and, you know, someone might be rude to you in the first week, but you keep your mouth shut, so you keep that job, right? niggas when they come up here they can't keep their mouth shut man you know they want to exalt themselves over us they want to teach us something when five minutes ago you never even knew that you was an Israelite man so what can you teach me man but they like fair speeches like um, uh, Farrah Khan and or even Khalid Muhammad even though his speeches were good that speech where he goes we're gonna kill the women kill the faggots kill the lesbians we're gonna kill all of them man but he must have been a zealot back in their dumb days. But the zealots, they were freedom fighters. Same with Malcolm X. But I want Proverbs 1 and 7. Proverbs 1 and 7. Yep. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh, is the beginning of knowledge. That's it. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. So hey, we're here to uh, 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 teach the Isaiah 58 and 1. We're here to give you knowledge. But hey, this Stockholm Syndrome, man. This disease that our people have, this love for their oppressor, is deeper than I ever thought it was, you know? Because think about it, we're fortunate, we're, we're blessed in a way, because the Lord could have made us an Uncle Tom, man. But he did it, he preserved us from that, all right? And when you have a race of people that are the majority like that, how are you going to go forward? So there's got to be a cut-off point, man. And that's why the Lord's going to do what he's going to do. See? Isaiah 58 and 1. Yep. Cry aloud, yep. spare not. You're not supposed to spare your effeminate feelings, man. Alright, continue. And uh, the good thing about being here is the nigger woman is, is, is not running a muck over here like Peckham, man. Hey, man, we, 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 we had demon summer last year, man. Demon summer, man. Continue. Cry aloud, spare not. Yep. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yep and show my people their transgression yep. and the house of Jacob their sin. And we need to walk uh, uh, Ezekiel 3 and 17. And we need to warn them. But we can't even get we can't even get to the stage of warning you about what's coming because you're arguing all the time with us, man. You know? Oh, slack it. Over over little things, man. We want to warn them, but they just come and argue and this, that and the other. Alright? So that's why the brothers bring our ark and show you that this World War III is close, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. Yep. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. There you go. And uh, uh, the apostles had that video, I think it's about 10 years ago, when they were sitting down and he goes, Apostle Gabar goes, you're supposed to be checking everything we say out here. You know? And they showed the, the concentration camps in America. They're called FEMA camps. That's for you, man. See, there's more there. Because the Heavenly Father has to trim the fat, man. Has to happen, man. Verse 18. Yep. When I say unto the wicked, yep. thou shalt surely die. And when it says wicked, it's talking about our people. Because our people are becoming, they're overpassing the deeds of the wicked, man. See? And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. Yep. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity. But his blood I will require at thine hand. There you go. So a part of doing the work and stuff is to warn our people of what's coming, man. 
And these heathens, they know more about what's coming than our people, man. That's the sad thing about it. But it is, remember, the Lord wants it. That's why these Israelite groups that, oh, we're going to go to a Christian church and battle them. There's also, what is the point in that, man? There's no point in that. Because they're not going to listen, man. See? Verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul. There you go. So if we tell you, and you ignore it, our soul is delivered, man. All right? Yeah, Ephesians 5 and 15. So our, our, we're doing our job, all right? And we're in the midst of doing that. So at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's, it's really, it's up to the Heavenly Father, man. He controls everything. Because when you look at the tribe of Gad, man, they're totally destroyed, man. Uh, you know, uh, when you watch documentaries on them, a tear will come into your eye, man. I've cried many times seeing them, but then you have to have balance and see the shit that they were doing, man. They were uh, made, uh, eating peyote, which is like magic mushrooms. They used to do ghost dances. They used to do all kinds of wickedness, man. Wicked oh, they used to eat dog, some of them, man. One guy on RT said the dog is sacred. <laughs> Therefore, we eat it. Alright, fair enough, the dog is sacred, but do you have to eat it? You know what I mean? See, see the Lord, He sees everything. That's why we just have to trust in Him, man. He's judging righteously. In fact, He's had mercy upon them, man. Right? What kind of wickedness that they were doing. Ephesians 5 and 15. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, yep. not as fools, not but as, as fool, wise. Man. A fool is a person that rejects knowledge that will help them, man. You know that they say knowledge is power. It's, it's yeah, but what kind of knowledge, man? Right? I went to university. I did HR marketing. I can't. I can't even remember what I did, man. Yeah, I just. I mean, what did I learn? I can't remember, man. What good is? Why you don't remember it, brother? It wasn't. It wasn't powerful. It wasn't powerful, and it wasn't. It wasn't important. It wasn't beneficial. You know, knowing about uh, 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 marketing strategies. Then when you get a degree and you get a job, it's 18 grand a year. How are you going to uh, learn off this? You know? So it doesn't make any sense. See? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Alright? Give diligence to make that accordion and election sure, man. Because even Will Smith said that in um, I Am Legend. He said, um, uh, Bob Marley said that the wicked people are working day and night to destroy the earth or something like that and he said light up the darkness which was an illuminati rubbish because they think that um, satan is the an angel of light or some madness like that all right but the days are evil man it's going to come to this place that like we had a, um, a fake terrorist attack again this week yeah where was the guy from africa somewhere yeah it was, it was a jake no he wasn't a jake guy it's a black guy, isn't it? Sudan, I think. Very, very dark guy. Yeah, very, very dark guy. And he drove a car into the barriers in, uh, where was it? Pol you haven't heard it? Basically, we had a, a terrorist attack, but it was fake, man. Yeah, yeah. It was in a weekday, innit? Yeah, yeah it's it gone. Weekday, it's gone. And on the news, they showed his face, and he was black, man. All right? See, they're putting it so, so subtly, but they're gonna start yeah, stopping them. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they're putting a lot more of these Muslim extremists as black men. And there's a reason why they I think he was from Sudan, Sudan though, though. Yeah, Sudan, that's it. He was from Sudan. Sudan, yeah, yeah. What's that? They're trying to attach it to us. Yeah, they're trying to attach it to us. Eventually, they're gonna do it because they have a film called Barry about um, Barack Obama. And he goes up to an Israelite group when he's younger. And he goes, and he says something about King James. And he was trying to say that King James was a white man, man. Well, come on, brother. I mean, really? I know. Back I know. in his day when he was young, yeah, there were Israelites out there. Come on, man. I know, man. But they're trying it. And there's another film as well called um, Triple Nine as well. Right, Triple Nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. where they see a Jesus and Negro and Woody Harrison. He's got. He does that. Yeah. When they used to lynch us. No respect, man. Verse seventeen. Yeah. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of Yahweh is. That's it. 
And his will is, is for you to obey him, man. Alright? Commandments are not optional. They're commands, like in the army. If I'm corporal and he's under me, I tell him to do something, alright? Better go out and do it, man. That's, that's obeying, uh, uh, that's order, structure, alright? Rank and file, man. But the problem with the nigger is, the nigger's such a nigger, that the nigger doesn't like a, a so-called other nigger to tell him, even though he's a nigger, what this nigger should do. And that's the big problem, man. They don't, it's weird, it's like they got this confusion where they will treat even light-skinned niggas, man. Hey, you get people who are black treating light-skinned niggas well. Hey, you jakes are just... But you know, though, brother, you can't blame them, brother. Yes, you gotta, you gotta go with the, what is it, the Willie Lynch? Yeah, the Willie Lynch, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know under that Willie Lynch spell, man? Yeah, it's a spell, and it, he probably was a wizard. Sorry. <laughs> he probably, his middle name was probably Merlin, man. Okay. <laughs> well, verse 18, he says, speaking to yourself, Willie Lynch. Lynch. <laughs> so like go and say, it's like, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns yeah. and spiritual songs, yeah. singing and making melody in your heart to your howl. Hey, 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 remember when we, when we first came together and I said to him, I talked to myself in the house and he goes, if you don't talk to yourself, you know, and it's true. <laughs> and it's true, man, because when I'm at home, we said it today, innit? We said that today's the only therapy that we get. I, I'm telling you, I've had a terrible week, man. But at least I can get it off my chest, do the Lord's work, you know? Hey, we like doing this, man. Speak your clout, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one's put a gun to my head. You know what I mean? Mm. But we're we're um, willing to um, fear the Heavenly Father, man. Look what he did to Jonah in a whale, man. Belly that's, of that's bad. Man. Yeah, that's man. Bad. I'm, I'm, right. Hey, listen, this I'm, I beg, I'm, I beg you, man. <laughs> this is a god you don't want to play with. I'm, I'm serious. Giving thanks always. Thanks always, man. For all things unto Yahweh. All things. So, oh, you're going to get paid on Wednesday. You didn't, you didn't come into your account. Still thank the Lord. All right. Take medicine. Didn't work. Still in pain. Thank the Lord. All right. Broke. Thank the Lord. When you get money, thank the Lord. You thank him regardless, man. Because if you just thank him when something good happens, then you're basically saying that the Heavenly Father's a bitch. You are, innit? You say something, when yeah. I hear them with afflictions, man, I smile at that, man. Yeah, and I yeah. Because it makes me smile, because I know that the Lord's doing that. You yeah, know, to yeah. Test. It's and, test it makes, and it makes me smile when that happens. Yeah, yeah. I like, um, give praise for that. well, I give praise for that, man. All right? You have to do that constantly, man. The Heavenly Father likes that. In, in, in the heavens, he's got people praising him mm. all, all the time, man. Yeah. You know, how much more... Uh, Lord willing, the elect of, of, of uh, this nation. So we have to do that regardless of what the situation we're in and stuff like that. All right? It's just like being in an army. When you're in an army, you have rank and file and you have to do this and that, that and the other. Well, this is more precious than any anything that's ever going to happen, man. You're talking about seeing guys like us, which is a celebrity, or the world calls us niggas, flying, man. Yeah, drop yeah, yeah. 